Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon. Of course, if you have not been here before, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. You guys know what is up with that. So today's video is going to be a fun one. I'm actually trying out a new beauty tool. Well, it's not new. I've heard about it for quite a long time. And I've actually had it in my collection for a while and just left it in the box and never tried it. I have no idea why. Um, but I'm talking about the, the Stands Out Beauty Company Makeup Blending Sponge. So this is the box that it comes in. I do have it out because I've actually already filmed the clip of me actually putting this on and like my first impressions but I thought I would come on camera after I fully did my makeup I don't know if you guys like it that way or if you prefer me coming on with no makeup but this is just how I chose to do it today but this is the box it's a pretty box I will say I ordered mine on Amazon on the Canadian site you can order it through their website as well but for Canadians it's pretty convenient and you know exactly what you're gonna pay if you go on Amazon so I'll link both their website as well as Amazon down below if you want to get any information I of course recommend going to the stands out website um, I heard about this first through Tati, I think, or Glam Life Guru, and a couple other people have mentioned it since, so I was curious on trying it. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're just going to get into this, talk about some of the claims on this, and then I'll go into a try-on clip. All right, guys, so I showed you the box. So this is a sponge, so it's kind of like a diamond shape. You can see it is dirty because I did use it, but it was, like, completely white. But it is a diamond shape, and it was, like, in the box kind of right there. Um, but that's kind of what it looks like. It's kind of like a microfoam feel to it. It feels really soft. Um, I have to give it that. It is very, like, squishy. You can squish it down to almost, like, nothing. And if you wet it, it goes down to like the smallest little ball and you have to let it kind of expand. But it's kind of neat. I don't know. I was curious about the creation of this and just how it works. So that's why I picked it up. I do think it was around $26 Canadian. So it's definitely not on the cheap end. Beauty blenders are kind of in that range as well. So it is on the higher end as far as pricing. But sometimes when I see something that I'm this curious about, I just have to pick it up. So just to give you some claims, I'm going to give you some claims on it and how to use it before we actually go into the clip of my first impressions. Um, so they describe it as a multifunctional blending tool designed to apply a streak-free airbrushed finish to your co complexion. So that sounds amazing. Um, it says the warmth of your skin is all that is needed for the Stands Out Beauty Sponge to reach its optimal softness for use. They do recommend to use the sponge the first three to five uses while it's in its break-in period to kind of dampen it. And then after that, water is optional. So that was the thing that mainly made me curious is that I might not have to dampen the sponge after a few uses. That's the thing I'm most curious about. Obviously, I want it to give me that airbrush, airbrushed finish as well, but definitely not wetting a sponge is like, I think what everyone wants. And the Stands Out Beauty Sponge can also be used as a finishing tool by lightly patting and rolling all over the face, leaving a seamlessly blended look. So I'm assuming you can use this, let's say you used a brush, but you feel like there's some streak marks. This would work good in just kind of getting rid of those streak marks, but I feel like a normal beauty blender does that as well. And then it does give you pro tips kind of on the back of kind of like each end of the sponge. So like the top, the side, the triangle like what to use those for I'm probably not gonna follow by that I like to apply it just how I like to apply but it says for the large rounded side so the top part of the sponge it says for pressing and rolling foundation into the large areas of the face such as the cheeks chin and forehead which is what I actually did I used that top part um, the triangular side, so just the front side of the sponge or the back side, it says to use for applying concealer and powder to the under eye. I actually didn't try using powder in the try-on clip. I probably should have tried that, but I didn't. And then for this side over here, it says it's really good for contour under your cheekbones, jawline, and nose. Oh, I guess you could kind of use it for contour as well. I should have read all of this before I tried this out, but well, well, I'll continue to test this out to see what I think about it, but that's kind of cool. And the ingredients on this is polyurethane foam. So it's essentially a piece of foam that you're using on your face. Um, it is an official product of Stands Out Beauty Company and, and it shows um, it's a US company, but it looks like it's made 
it's made in China. So just if you were curious about that, I thought I would let you guys know, but that's all the info that's on this box. So if you guys are curious just to see me trying it out and see my thoughts on it, then I'm gonna insert that clip now. All right guys, so I have this sponge all ready to go. Um, I did dampen this guy. It did get like really tiny when it was wet. So just like as a warning, it's kind of scary when it gets wet, but it did say to wet it a few times before not wetting it. And then you don't actually have to, which is kind of cool. I'm assuming you would have to clean this though, because I mean, it's like white and you would see everything in this, but I'm curious to see how this works. So I'm gonna go in. I'm using the Smashbox, the Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Wear Foundation. I really like this foundation. I've been using it a ton, so I figured I would use this one with it because I know it's something that I like. So I'm gonna go in with that first. And I think I'm just gonna put this on my face and then go in with the sponge instead of putting it like directly on the sponge. So I'm just gonna start with that much and then I'm gonna, I guess we'll just take it and see what happens. Oh, it seems to be applying good so far. It feels weird though. <laughs> like it's soft, but it just feels weird on the skin. Like it doesn't feel like a normal sponge does. Definitely has that like kind of microfoam feeling to it, if that makes any sense. And of course my nose, like ugh, every time I do my makeup, my nose runs. Does anyone have that issue? I have no idea why. I will say it feels like it should be damper. I don't know. I don't know, it's just such a weird feeling. It does kind of feel like you cut off a piece of your microphone mattress and just are like trying to use it on your face. <laughs> but I mean, as far as like the finish, it's not looking bad. I had to give it that, it does not look that bad. So that's, it didn't soak up a ton of foundation either. So you can see it there, but it's not like soaked right into the sponge, which is nice. So let's do the other side. Probably didn't need that much, but it's okay. Let's go in again. We'll just make sure we get it everywhere that's missing a little bit of foundation. Now, I typically use a brush with this foundation, personally. So I don't know if I like this better than using a brush with this one, but I don't think it looks bad. It is spreading decently. I just feel like it feels like a little bit dry, so maybe I should have dampened it more, but like, it was like shriveled up from how much I dampened it, so. And by the way, I didn't mention, I'm wearing the By Terry, the Hyaluronic Hydratint Primer. It's one of my favorite primers right now. It's expensive, but it's really, really good. Okay. I actually think that looks really good. What do you guys think? Like it blended out the foundation nicely. Like I said, I don't know if I think it's like that much different than using a regular beauty blender. I do think it saves you on product though because it didn't absorb too much product. Like you can see here, there's not much absorbed into it, but there is some. Um, it does feel really nice on the skin. Like I feel like it just feels like kind of pillowy, which is nice. Maybe like a microphone pillow feel. <laughs> so it does feel nice on the skin. I don't know. I mean, so far so good. We're gonna try it with concealer and see what I think about blending out concealer with it, just because, I mean, we might as well since we're here. I'm not gonna use a ton of concealer today because this is pretty full, like the Smashbox, this is pretty full coverage. 
So I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer in the shade 3. I wish I had got a lighter shade in this because I really like it and it's it's fine. It works, but I'd like it to be a little bit brighter under my eyes, but we're going to use this guy anyway. Hopefully I don't have like... Ugh. My lips, guys, have been like through it. I don't know what's up with them. They're so dry. I have to wear like almost like a lip balm all the time or like a mask when I go to bed or they just, they're completely crusty and dry. Must be the winter time or pregnancy. I don't know because I've never had lips like that. So it's kind of frustrating. We're just going to put this where I usually put concealer. I do have a little bit of a pimple down there. Nothing crazy. All right, so let's take the same, I'm just going to take the same side. Oh yeah, that blended that out really good actually. Blend it out on my nose and my forehead. And we'll just take this down here a little bit. I'm going to take it a little bit. I got something there. I hope I don't still have, I wore the Tati Beauty palette yesterday and I always like to use the glitters and I swear to God, I always end up with glitter all over my face after I wear that palette. I love it, but just be aware when you go to take those glitters off, they're going to be all over you, no matter what you use. I don't mind. I still use that palette. I mean, eventually I get the glitters off, but... Ooh, there we go. Oh, I think that'll blend out the concealer really nicely. I will say it's nice that it has this end because if you want to cut, let's say you have, you want to put a wing, you can just kind of go like this. Or you can kind of cover up where you made mistakes with eyeshadows. So the shape of it's kind of nice. All right, so that's kind of the finished concealer and foundation. So far, so good on this guy. I think it did a good job. Like I said, I don't think it absorbed a lot of product and it does feel nice on the skin. So I'll have to keep like testing this out. The first few times it does say to wet it. So I think I'll do that the next two times. And then after that, I'm just going to kind of leave it and see what happens because it really interests me to use a sponge that I don't have to wet all the time. Because that's my main issue. I hate wetting sponges every morning. So I just typically use a brush. And I'm terrible with cleaning those as well, <laughs> but that's what I typically do. So yeah, I'm interested to see how this looks, but this is how the skin is looking. I think it looks pretty nice and it blended everything out nicely. So I'm happy with it so far. All right, guys, so we're back. So that was the clip of me actually like my first impressions and what I thought of it. You can see I did really enjoy it. It worked really well in the try on clip. Um, the sponge, like I said, it didn't absorb a ton of foundation. It feels really nice. It's nice and soft. Um, one thing I will say that I noticed when applying the rest of my makeup is I do feel like in this area in particular, I'm a little bit drier than usual. And I did feel like this was kind of dry feeling. So that could be user error and the fact that I didn't dampen it enough for the first use. So I'm going to keep trying this and testing it. I'm not going to say it's like its fault. I do know I have dry skin right now, but typically I use this foundation and primer combo a lot and I don't have any issues. So it doesn't look bad, but I can just see it really close up a little bit around this area where I'm a little bit dry. So I will have to keep trying this out, but I did want to mention that because I did feel like it made me a little bit drier than when I apply with my brush. But like I said, it could be user area or I need to try it more. I'm hoping once I break it in, I'll like it even more. But I do think it applied really like nicely to the skin as far as making the foundation look smooth. Like I didn't have any streaking and there was no, sometimes with certain beauty sponges, they leave like almost like holy texture on your face. I don't know if that makes sense. It depends on the beauty sponge you're using, but this one doesn't do that at all. It actually makes it really flat and everything kind of blend out evenly. So I enjoyed that about it. Like I said, I think this is on the higher end for price. So I don't know if it's like 
really something you want to trade out with your beauty blender because I don't know if it's that much better than a beauty blender but I did think it worked fairly well and like I said I don't think it uses as much product as a beauty blender or another beauty sponge that I have in my collection so I do enjoy that about it. I think the packaging on this is really cute and I think it's an innovative idea. I have to give it to them like who would have thought to really use this? I just think it's kind of a cool idea and um, I'll have to test it out and see if I can actually stop using water like dampening it because that's like the main thing that I want to know about it but I think it was pretty cool so far I really like it I think it's a pretty good product I just need to keep trying it out and I'll of course the more I try it I'll update the description box for you guys but if you guys did like this video make sure you do give me a thumbs up it really does help my channel out a lot even if you think it doesn't um, also hit that subscribe button down below. It's just the red subscribe button if you want to become part of my YouTube family. And hit that bell notification because you guys know I am not the most frequent uploader. This is my first video probably in like a week. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I work full time. I try to film as many videos as I can. Uh, but I do have to take time to sit and edit and I'm not complaining at all but I just want to let you guys know that um, if you guys are into like constant content I'm probably not the channel for you but I'll try my best to put up good content for you um, but yeah guys if you enjoyed the video which I hope you did come back next time and watch another one I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video bye guys